Welcome to Amy Learns to Cook. On the show today, we are going to take a tour of one of my favorite places on earth. On the first floor of my house, I have a secret room back here that houses my most prized collection, my cookware. Yes, my cookware takes up an entire room. If you want to know the history of my pan room, please watch my video on the history of Amy's pan room. But now, let's take a look at the pan room. Okay, so this is the pan room. And I want you guys to know, since you are my, all my friends, that I'm letting you in to a part of my life that can be kind of embarrassing. But you know, we all have a collection of some sort. And mine just happens to be related to the kitchen. So come on in and let's take a look. So this is the first floor office on our house. And um, I really like it because it has double doors and it hides what usually is a mess because I have so many things that at times it can get, you know, like a destruction zone, right? But Eric has got me a bunch of racks so I can try to organize everything. And I do a little bit of a good job, sort of. Um, so it's kind of organized chaos. So come on in. Okay, so my collection pretty much consists of everything you would ever need in the kitchen. My favorite brands, as everybody know, is All Clad. And I have almost every piece in the All Clad stainless collection. And it, you know, the pans work great, they last forever, they clean up beautifully, and I am their biggest fan, right? So the first thing when you come in to the pan room is Eric set up a bunch of racks for me and these racks pretty much are stuffed all the way to the top. Um, I have them starting here and they go all around the outside and then I have one that sits through the middle and I also have this cabinet over here it houses my um, gadgets and stuff. It's a great place to keep everything nice and clean because it can get a little dusty, particularly if you don't use stuff on a regular basis. So um, let's start with my gadget drawer. Okay, so I, we got this cabinet because it seems like I have so many little tools and they're usually all over the place. And this was just a way for me to try to get them a little organized and keep them from getting dusty. So what this cabinet is, is has some shelves in it. And what I've done is I've just taken some plastic bins and put them in there so I can organize the stuff a little bit better. On the top row here, I keep my measuring cups in this first bin. This is pretty much just a bunch of miscellaneous everything. I have rolling pins. Um, I have pieces that go to my chafing dish. I have a whole bunch of <laughs> weird whisks that I don't really use too much. And, you know, egg cutter. This is pretty much just a big pile of whatever, right? So this is where I keep my prep bowls. And I use prep bowls all the time. I, um, when I'm chopping or anything, I fill these up so when I'm cooking, I can just add ingredients quickly and I don't get confused. It allows me to keep my ingredients in order. So I have large prep bowls and I have little small prep bowls depending on, um, you know, the dish I'm making. I have a lot of these because I use a lot of them. So there's my prep bowls. This is a little measuring cup. Um, on the second um, shelf is another couple of bins with just basically miscellaneous everything in. And it's kind of hard to keep this stuff organized. I have 
scoops and whisks and this is for um, when you chop things you could scoop it up and put it in your bowl um, tongs some pie servers everything you can think of Eric really likes these these are bear claws and you use two of these to um, pull pork and chicken so he really likes these little tools these are very handy and they're inexpensive um, have some rice paddles and little strainers um, I also have this I have trouble with my measuring spoons because I have a lot of them so I got this little thing because it keeps them all in one spot these are all my um, metal measuring spoons um, I really like this is actually a coffee scoop but it's a one tablespoon and a two tablespoon so it's really cool to use um, and keeps everything nice and together are those separate stackable devices yeah they are so what I do is I have my plastic ones here which I really don't use as often as the metal um, hard to do this one-handed okay so that's my um, measuring spoons I also have these little some of these little containers I bought just along the way to keep um, brown sugar in or whatever we use these when we um, go to, on competitions as well um, these are just little cookie paddles they go to one of my mixers I'll show you guys that in the future um, this row has this nifty little chopper that I use frequently you can put different kinds of blades in here and it just chops this way um, kind of neat to have I don't know it's not really a necessity but I have it anyway um, another bin full of just miscellaneous stuff I have a mandolin um, that's currently taken apart tongs and other stuff here I keep my famous white aprons right I love to use aprons I keep some mitts for the barbecue and for the oven and this bottom row actually I use a ton of kitchen towels because, and I buy them all white so I can bleach them um, and I keep them in bins down here so that they're easy to get I wash them and I put them away down here this way I always have a clean towel to use this is usually pretty full but some of them are in the wash right now so this is sort of my gadget cabinet okay so now let's start on the racks on the side of this rack here I keep all of my strainers and um, splatter guards um, I keep them on these little hooks because it keeps them out of the way and they're easy to get to I've got different size strainers I've got these splatter guards and down here I have um, a larger strainer for pasta um, this side of the pan room is basically all, a lot of my serving dishes and just regular dishes I also have other things mixed in here because of course I could use a pan room that's twice as big as the one that I have right so I have a lot of small um, ceramic things serving things butter dishes um, a lot of plates these are my holiday plates um, my pattern is Linux Holiday. That's a very popular Linux pattern. Um, I also have a lot of miscellaneous things here. These are little ceramic um, individual dishes that you can make a pot pie or a little pie in. This is a um, La Crusade. Um, I also have a lot of serving dishes down here on the bottom as well and serving platters I don't know why I'm into like these individual things so I have a lot of stuff like this um, some mixing bowls I also have up here at the top I have a KitchenAid mixer I actually have two of these 
And my husband always makes fun about why I have two KitchenAid mixers. This one I actually got for free. Um, I have a five quart white one that I use in the kitchen all the time. This is a Pro 6 that I got this baby for free. Um, my husband's employer had this little point system that when you're a good worker, you got little points, right? And he was getting points often because he's a good worker, right? So he, I basically stole his points and bought myself a larger KitchenAid mixer, right? Okay, so on this shelf, I have more of the same, more ceramic pieces. I have some little pumpkins that I use um, in the fall. Those are gonna be coming out pretty soon. And I have a lot of different kinds of dishes for serving. Like this is an oval dish that you can use for bread or whatever if you're having a party. Um, this is a little mini food chopper, which I don't know exactly where the thing is right now. Um, these are little sleigh dishes. Okay, so down here, there are a couple attachments to my KitchenAid mixer. The top one is a, a meat grinder if you wanna make sausage or something like that. The bottom one is a, um, a grater, so you can make great cheese or you can slice um, vegetables. I have a couple of stands over here that are warmers. And down there I have a paella pan. It's an all clad, it's very huge. I might break that out one of these days. Up at the top here, I have these stands that Eric loves to use to make beer can chicken. These are by Weber. Um, what you do is you put a little liquid in here, like chicken broth or something that you want to flavor the chicken with. You put this on top and you put the chicken on here standing up. You put this in the chicken's neck and you throw this baby on the barbecue and it comes out really good. Brine your chicken first and then the drippings in here you can make a, a nice smoky gravy out of. So that is my chicken stand. Okay, so down at the bottom here, I keep my roasting pans. And like this is an all clad roaster. Um, great for chicken, roasting vegetables. I have quite a few of them. Um, the second rack here, this is my food saver. Um, I use this to vacuum pack things for the freezer. These little pans are just, they go to one of my um, bread machines and you can make little one pound loaves of bread in these. Um, these are filled with plastic storage containers. I have a bunch of them and I haven't yet to figure out a good way to store them. So these, I keep all the lids. And so these are totally filled. When I cook, I fill these up for lunches when I go to work. Okay, so on this rack, I have a few of my small appliances. I have a couple slow cookers right here. This is an all clad slow cooker. And this one here is a Cafalon. They're pretty large size slow cookers. I don't really have one that's really all that small. Um, this is my KitchenAid food processor. It does have a lid, but the lid is currently in the dishwasher. Um, this is a hand mixer in my beaters. I keep over in my tool cabinet. This is actually my KitchenAid blender. The top of it is currently in the dishwasher because we made some drinks last night. This is a little pasta set. It's got a big bowl, actually got two bowls and it's got eight of these small bowls for pasta. Okay, so the next um, shelf, I have some of my um, saute pans. This is actually a saute, um, pan with dual helper handles on the edge. Um, this is an all clad and it has a dome lid. That one gets used quite frequently. A double boiler. This one is from all clad as well. You put the water down at the bottom and in here you can make hollandaise. You can make, I made Eric chocolate pudding in this. I love this piece. This is one of my favorites. Um, also have some this is like a saucepan, but it's kind of wide. I love this. This is a, a Lagostina. Um, it's made in Italy. 
I have some other pieces of Lagostina here. This is just a fry pan. Um, and this is a little saucepan. Back here as well, I have some saute pans, Lagostina saute pans. And here I have a cast iron um, um, deep skillet. You can use this for soups and stuff. Up at the top, this is just a fancy um, cast iron pot. It's La Crusade. This is a, just a regular saute pan, three quart. Um, this is all clad. I have some baking pans here. I don't know why they're there. Um, these are La Crusade. They are long um, loaf pans. I use to make some quick breads that I want long and this kind of unique shape. <coughs> Break them there. Um, this is just a little strainer thing and this is a measuring cup. Actually came with my immersion blender. One thing you'll notice up at the top is I have a lot of baking sheets and um, cutting boards and they're really they tend to be really difficult to organize some reason I have a rolling pin up here they're really difficult to organize I got these racks that stand straight up so I can keep everything at the top and so it'll stand straight up so I can get them really easily I have a lot of cutting boards because I use them frequently and you don't want to cross contaminate things so I have a lot so I can use it and throw it in the dishwasher, use it and throw it in the dishwasher. So I probably recommend, you know, getting 10 cutting boards if you cook a lot. Having at least five if you do just regular cooking. You have muffin pans and you have uh, wire racks. I have cookie racks up here, muffin, different size muffin tins. These are square muffins. Um, these are these little ones I used to make my lasagna cupcakes. Um, and there's a video on that as well. Okay, so this is the other side of that rack. And I have a bunch of stuff piled on each other in here. This here is an all clad Windsor pan. It's narrow at the bottom and wide at the top and it's really good for reducing things. So if you wanna make a sauce, it's great for that. These are just 13 by nine baking pans. These are just some regular cake pans. Um, this here is another all clad saute. Um, just on the second row, you guys may not have seen, these are little rice bowls. I really like them. I use that for rice. Um, okay, so now let's go down here, down the center and I have some stainless steel. These are all clad, actually. Stainless steel platters that I use to serve stuff on at parties. Little noisy there. I have some refrigerator dishes, some more of these little individual dishes. I have a bean pot. This is a La Crusade. Um, a teapot that I don't really use that much. Some measuring cups. I don't know why they're here. Um, this is for soup. These are lion head um, soup terrains. Um, I have two of these big ones. And then I have whoop, some little ones for soup. So you could put your soup in the lion's head terrine and then you can serve it in those. It's a little cake stand. I, this box right here, I actually buy parchment paper by the sheet and it comes in a box like this. There's actually a thousand sheets in this box. Um, I buy them this way because I use parchment paper a lot and it makes it really convenient. It's not in a big roll. They're just flat sheets. So um, that's a great thing to invest in. The only problem is it takes up quite a bit of room, but it's great in here because I could just pull one out and pull a sheet out and throw it on a, um, a baking pan and I'm ready to go.
to the oven. So you can buy parchment paper in like a roll and it's going to cost you anywhere from three to five dollars at the regular store. This box right here cost me thirty dollars at a restaurant supply store and believe it or not I bought it two years ago and I haven't even you know made a dent in it. Um, with a thousand sheets it will last you years and years. So th for the home cook thirty dollars for your parchment paper you probably won't have to buy it again for a long time. Okay, so down here I actually have a little another Cuisinart hand mixer. I bought that on a major sale and my intention was that was going to go into our RV. So it hasn't quite made it in there yet, but it will eventually. On this next rack up, we, I have some tasting bowls. These are these little um, round tasting bowls and these are sort of flared. I actually bought these and I haven't used them yet. Um, I'm going to use them at a party. I just haven't figured out when and where. Um, right down here is an electric pressure cooker. Um, awesome for artichokes. Artichokes take forever to soften up in boiled water, but you can cook artichokes in only minutes in an electric pressure cooker. So that's a great thing to have. Um, over there, yes, I have another mandolin. You guys can see that. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if I'm pointing it right. Where's the mandolin at? Right there, that black thing. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so on this rack, of course, it's piling up again, right? I have a couple extra bowls for my five-quart um, KitchenAid mixer. Um, I have some baking pans that are in a big, huge pile of mess, right? I have over here is an oval um, stock pot. And over here is actually what we call a china cap, and I'll show that to you. Okay, so this is a china cap and basically you use it to strain. It's really good for straining tomatoes if you're going to make a huge amount of them. Put it over a stock pot and you can use a spoon or something and it's really good and really efficient, right? Another fun gadget is this. This is actually a tool you use in a fryer and it makes shells for a taco salad. So you put a tortilla in here and you put this down over the top of it and you put it in a fryer and it fries the tortilla shell in a little bowl. And then you can put your taco salad in the middle of that. So this is a taco shell fry basket. Okay, so this thing right here, I don't use it that often, that's why it's so dusty. It is a three burner server. So it's got three pots on it and it has three burners. You can use it if you're having a buffet. These are all baking pans, right? And I don't dare touch it because it's going to go flying everywhere. I've got muffin pans. This is a popover pan. These are more muffin pans. This is a pan for you to make bread on. These are loaf pans. Um, these are more cake pans. These are tube pans. Um, that's a popover pan. This is a little mini muffin pan. Um, different size tube pans, like this is kind of a funky tube pan that makes a cake shape like this. Um, there's a million shapes out there of tube pans. It's not your old bunt pan anymore, right? They've got a lot of different shapes. These are spring foil, spring form pans. And a spring form pan basically has a little buckle right there and the bottom comes out. So if you're making something, it's easy. It doesn't stick to the sides and stuff. Up here, this is a cake stand. This is my immersion blender comes in this handy little thing. It's got all the parts to it in here so I don't lose any of them. That I keep up here. I have a bean pot, another lasagna pan. 
And going across the top, I have more of these trays standing upward. Um, we use these cheap fast food trays to chop pork on and to chop chicken. They're great for that. Um, they don't cost hardly anything at your restaurant supply store and you can just chop away on them. Um, more baking pans with different shapes, a brownie pan, more cutting boards. This here is a cast iron grill pan. This is from Le Creuset. It is a very beautiful pan and I got a very beautiful deal on it. <laughs> I'm a bargain shopper, right? Okay, so this rack has some of my baking pans on it that I use all the time. You probably saw me use one of these to cook the Dutch baby on. This is a Le Creuset. Um, I really like Le Creuset. Most of this is Le Creuset in here. This is Le Creuset. And so is this. This is, actually I cook beans in this a lot. This is a Le Creuset um, made out of um, ceramic. He goes right back there. I actually have a little pumpkin back here that's being attacked by a saute, by a fry pan. That's a little pumpkin. These are some everyday pans. And now for the last rack. Now we finally read the last rack. On the bottom there, I have some um, baking dishes that are all clad. They come with a metal um, holder. These are some um, shallow saute. So the next shelf up, this is a Bosch mixer. It's actually really good for mixing big amounts of dough. I think it would um, survive a little bit more than the KitchenAid. Um, this is a bread machine. It's a Zojirushi. Um, it's really nice because it has two paddles instead of one. So it tends to make a longer loaf than your typical bread machine. Okay, so this is one of my favorite little specialty pieces. I don't know what, you know, you really would use this on the stove top. It's a little wok. And this is by All Clad. And I mainly use it for serving. I usually cook some egg rolls and then I use this on the table for serving the egg rolls because it's really cute. I really like it. This is a double, this is a steamer. This is um, another steamer that I use in a stock pot. These here are frying pans. I actually have two stacks of these frying pans. We used a bunch of them this morning cooking breakfast. Um, this is an all clad. And I keep towels in here because I stack them and they're non-stick and I don't want them to stick. I don't want them to scratch. Um, stock pot. This is actually not the lid that goes to it, but oh well. Um, these are some saute pans. I think you see me using those on the show frequently. Um, this is a steamer. It's an all clad. It has the steamer basket in there with the lid so you can just use it as a stock pot or you can use it to steam pot or to boil pasta or whatever you want to steam. Um, here's my mixing bowls right here. Most of my mixing bowls I keep in the kitchen but I have a couple extra here. Um, this is another shallow saute pan. Kind of small. It's actually dusted. <laughs> More saute pans. This is, I use this pan frequently. It's a, like a two quart um, sauce pan by All Clad. I love that pan. Um, these are kind of neat. I picked these up on a this little novelty item, right? This is actually a server. You put ice in the bottom and then you put this and you can serve a cold dip. A lot of times I serve guacamole or something in that. Um, over here, I also have, this is a little saucepan. Put that there temporarily. This is a wok. It is by Cathalon. It's just a stainless steel 
wok. Here I have some sauce pans. Actually, this is a um, baker that I use frequently. Um, it's a Revol, and I love this piece. I have some stock pots back there for making chili and stuff. Um, more sauce pans. This is a um, deep saute. I have another wok back there. And this is just a chili pot from All Clad. And there's another deep saute back here with the domed lid. Okay, up at the top rack, we have some little canisters that you can use on the stove to put your tools in. Um, this right here, oh, it's kind of heavy, is actually a fondue pot. But <laughs> if you are a friend of mine on Facebook, you will learn that I am allergic to cheese and chocolate, right? So you ask, why do I have a fondue pot? Well, I got it on sale, I guess you could say. It's got a little stand there, but it's great for keeping things warm. You can put some warm water in there, and you can put a candle at the bottom. Actually, it has a um, sterno that goes in there. So you can keep, and it has a lid, so you can keep things warm in here. You know, I, um, I had a barbecue, and I kept barbecue sauce warm on that. It was very handy. So you can repurpose the fondue pot that everybody swore you had to have. Um, that's a little bowl. I don't know why that's there. Another little cake stand. This is an electric um, chafing dish for some, you know, it's, it's only great if you have something up against the wall and you can plug it in. It doesn't work that great on your dining room table. Um, then just on top of here, I got some food saver bags. And I have a three-tier um, cake stand that you can use to put lots of different kinds of desserts and stuff with. So that is my pan room. Um, we'll turn off the light. So it's one of these little secrets that I can hide behind these doors and nobody knows is there. Everybody has something that they collect and I collect kitchen gadgets. So, my friends, you have seen the pan room. Please, if you like the pan room, give me a like down below. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash amylearnstocook or visit my website at www.amylearnstocook.com.